New tonight, tech giant Amazon is changing the game. Its takeover of grocery store chain Whole Foods is final today. Mm -hmm. Amazon's promising to make high quality food more affordable, but also aims to disrupt the entire grocery industry. So what does that look like when it comes down to you, the customer? WBZ's John Keller has a closer look. We call it Whole Paycheck. But as of today, Whole Foods' reputation as a high-quality but high-priced option is changing, with immediate price cuts in organic items like apples, avocados, and eggs, and the promise of more to come, especially for customers of Amazon Prime, the free shipping service that's already helped the massive online retailer upend the status quo of the publishing industry. Maybe you'll go down to half a paycheck instead of Whole Paycheck. And while Whole Foods customers may be rejoicing, what about the rest of the retail food world? I think the grocery business is in tough shape. If you are not Walmart, which is the largest brick and mortar retailer with 20% market share in grocery, or Amazon, the biggest online retailer. We've seen this movie before. Whole Foods is a minor player in the industry right now, but so was Netflix before it crippled the movie rental business, and iTunes before it decimated CD sales. No wonder stock prices for the six largest food retailers slumped on the news of the whole. Foods price cuts. So it's good news for shoppers for now, but. Certainly on pricing, the early signs are it's better for the consumer. But the one thing you have to wonder about is they weed out even some of the bigger chains that may have trouble. Less competition is never a great thing. Hmm. So inquiring minds want to know, Paul and Liam, will Amazon work the same innovative miracles with the way we shop uh, that they've done in other retail sectors? Will that lead to the same kind of market dominance we've seen for them and other tech giants? And the biggest question of all, will this be changed for the better? And you might think, well, Whole Foods price is coming down. That's great. But what about is it going to kill a mom and pop store? They have uh, almost unlimited resources. And forget mom and pop, you know, what about Market Basket? Sure. What about Shaw's? Sure. You know, could this have the, the effect of, as our expert said in the piece there, really suppressing competition in the long run? And you know what happens when that happens. Prices Price, go up. That's right. <laughs> John Keller, thank you very much. Thank you.